needs to be done in a much more efficient, fun, and magical way. Yeah. It's all about creating these new experiences that are forever long lasting, not just an experience for a day or for a weekend. And you can thrive there and you are being extremely ignited in all the beautiful ways that you wish. So we're here to push forward and activate those long lasting ways. And Meg. Yes. What? As you said, Meg, star mother, <laughs> which is Meg Mother Earth Gaia. How can you mother yourself? I mother myself every day for hours through breath work, through body activations, through standing in the sun naked, through taking a nice bath with Epsom salt, listening to spa music, activating my chakras, activating my superpowers, activating my Merkaba. So that's how you get activated. Can you share a little bit about what led you here now? Yeah. Some of your experience yeah. getting to this point. Well, I believe strongly that it's just a part of my mission and my purpose to be where I'm at right now. Though I, for years, have created really amazing interactive immersive experiences and turned homes into castles and birthed a beautiful community in multiple locations, and also created interactive immersive experiences around the world, and opened up a few companies. Though one day I walked out of Walmart and everyone looked numb to me, and a whole new frequency or vibration or vision came forward, and something just came into me and said, what are you doing here? How did you get here and what's going on? And after that day, it was just completely different and I started seeking questions. So I just asked out loud, what's going on? And then I was shown that there's many levels and layers and there's veils that have covered up the truth of what this creation is. And then I was shown that we are in a matrix and I'm like, well, what the heck is a matrix? Is it like the movie matrix? How do I understand this? And then I started getting deeper and deeper and I totally knew this was the way through feeling and going and traveling around the world to really ancient sacred places and getting important keys to figuring out what this creation is. Not keeping myself in a, a box and just staying local or staying local on understanding what religions are, but branching far out from that because before all of that there was life and now I'm here to tell you the keys. Beautiful. Yeah. And tell me about you Sue. It's a oh, let's see here. What led me to this point here and now? What well, led you to this point here Listening and, now? and following the intuition and the direction that my soul was guiding me to each step of the way literally like being willing to step out of the career and leave it all because I felt called to the next thing, such as when I was a celebrity hairstylist and one day I just felt, hey, I have more to give to this world than styling women's hair and making them look beautiful for runway shows. And I made a decision to just walk away from that entire career. And that was, I don't know, eight or nine years ago now when I retired. Um, so then that led me to the next guidance, which I am a musician as well. I was going to go on this whole European tour at that time. I was working on an 